up locals? Well, today we seek to find the truth about this brand new Rise of the Crave. Super excited to get my hands on this disc because obviously the Crave, if you know the Crave, it is dependably straight. Uh, this could be a pretty short review in the sense that the flight is nearly identical to the Crave that you already know. The feel is identical to the Crave that you already know. But my negative with this disc, I personally, I don't know about you, but I kind of hate having a black disc. If you're playing a wooded course, it's kind of the worst. It's easy to lose. I love the way a Crave kind of naturally beats in a little bit over time. And this disc, if I'm only using this disc for glow rounds, then that's really gonna slow down that process. Now, maybe that's what you want and that might serve you better. But for me, I like to get to know a disc. I like to throw it in a bunch of different situations. And I feel like because this is a black disc, probably not throwing it in every situation. I did a video not that long ago, a, a video that we did for the time lapse. And I kind of joked that it was a new series started called Throwing, throwing expensive, expensive Discs. Discs. This could technically be episode two of Throwing Expensive Discs because a few weeks ago, I got my hands on this. It's a prototype Eclipse 2.0 Glow Crave. These things uh, are extremely hard to find, and because they're hard to find, I ended up paying a premium for it. And a lot of people, when I was looking for this disc, said, just be patient, this one is coming. And yes, this one did come. And truthfully, the flight of the two discs is pretty similar. Like I. In my review, I don't know if I could tell a huge difference between the two. Nicely stable, but the difference being that this disc, I can throw this disc on a day round much easier than this one. I can throw this disc on a wooded course because I can find this disc. And the glow rim on these discs, as we've seen with this recent Axiom MVP drop, uh, they're exploring with a bunch of different colors. Now I was intentional with getting a green glow rim on this, the Res Rise of the Crave. And I did that on purpose because I found this version easier to find. Some of these glow rims have like a blue or purple rim, and I found them pretty difficult to find out playing um, like a city course where there's some light pollution as well. As a glow disc, like sometimes, it's a great option um, if you're on a dark course or in a wooded course at night. Yes, you can find this disc quite easily. Um, in a lot of the forums, people are saying, what is taking MVP Axiom so long to come out with another Glow Crave? This isn't enough. Like, if I, I'm just gonna be completely honest and say it exactly how it is. So many people love the Crave and a Glow Rim Crave is okay, I guess but it's not a great disc for day rounds, and I don't think it's the best option for a glow round. This is what people are getting used to. You've gotten us hooked on this amazing bright glow, and it's a color that you could potentially dye to make it more visible like for a day round, but personally, like this color, it's not hard to find this. I throw glow discs all year round. I don't have a, like a glow bag and a day bag. I have one bag that I throw all the time, and it's this kind of color and I've never really lost a disc that's this color. I have lost a disc that's black. Even during the review of this disc when I was out in the field, it took me longer to find this disc in a wide open field as you see, compared to this sort of glow plastic. This is easy to find. I don't know, and a black disc looks cool, it's cool to hang on your wall or whatever, but MVP, like give the people what they want. You're able to make this disc and I know you're learning all about the power of supply and demand through your recent time-lapse you know, release with your prototype first runs. Maybe it's just supply and demand and you realize you can kind of profit off this round. In all the forums, people talk about why isn't there a Glow Crave? They made one before, but then they stopped making it. These came out in a very limited supply. And now you know you can only find them here and there through someone that's willing to sell it, but they understand what the market is for it, and people are paying you know kind of a silly amount of money for uh, these. And I have no space in my bag for black discs. Some people love black discs; they're cool to hang on the wall, they look pretty, but they're not actually a functional color to use. And if I only use this disc for glow rounds, then I don't get to know this disc as well because it just stays specific for that. Um, style of play. I don't know, MVP, what you're waiting for. People want this, so why are you giving them this? And MVP, I think you deserve calling out here. This is a cool design, I love the disc, but give me a disc that like actually glows the way you can make it. 
you demanded better glow and you created better glow and then you give us this which is this r2 glow rim stuff which you know for playing catch with my glow rim glitch yeah sure that's kind of quirky and fun at night to play a little bit with but like to actually play glow golf um, people shouldn't have to spend a ton of money or time searching for this because you can make this and I don't understand why you're not giving us the real thing. Give us the real thing MVP. Anyway, I think I will stop there. Uh, my name is Ryan. This is local. We are local. <laughs>